Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about fashion trends for 2022. I know that many of you were waiting to see this video, so thanks for your patience. I actually totally geeked out and I did a bunch of research, pulling from trends lists and magazines and various websites, and I pulled it all into this PowerPoint deck. Yeah, I created a PowerPoint deck for you guys. So I'm gonna go through this slide by slide with my commentary and I hope that it's fun for you. So for starters, in 2022, the color of the year is going to be very peri. This is a brand new color that was created by Pantone. It's very unusual because in previous years, Pantone would just say, this is the color of the year, and it would be an existing color. But for 2022, they did something special and they created a whole new color and gave it the name Very Peri. It's essentially a periwinkle blue shade, and it's supposed to be a happy color, a cheerful color. And my sense is that for 2022, a lot of us are really just ready to have fun, really ready to let go and enjoy and smile and laugh, because that's what this color really signifies. It's been a rough couple of years for many of us with a lot of unpredictability, and 2022, it's supposed to be more cheerful, more happy. So I would expect that we're going to see lots of periwinkle hair, periwinkle nails, uh, periwinkle fashion, handbags, shoes, clothes. So keep an eye out for this color. It's a very highly searched term on Google right now. I think already people are adding this color to their wardrobe. Then we jump into fashion. So Puffer coats have been around for a long, long time. And when I think of puffer coats, I think of pure functionality, meaning they are thick and warm and they keep me warm, right? It's like just a practical article of clothing. But from the research that I did, it seems that people are having a lot more fun with their puffer coats. So definitely puffer coats are here to stay, but not just the neutral black colors and the, you know, the browns and the beiges, but pops of color like the greens and the blues and the yellows and fuchsias and pinks and purples. So we're making the puffer coat more of a fashion statement, not just purely for functionality. It's going to be more fun, more bold. So that'll be really fun to see. Then we've got the oversized blazer. So you're gonna be able to pair oversized blazer with skirts, with pants, with dresses. You can wear them slung over your shoulder. You can wear them over maybe some soft, warm, cozy hoodies, right? Or you can wear them just like this. And I think this is gonna be a big trend this year where women in particular are wearing larger oversized uh, blazers with not a lot underneath. So I don't know how I personally feel about this because I love the look of tailored blazers and I'm actually a big fan of blazers. I probably have too many blazers, more than I need at this point. Um, but yeah, this is a different look. It's kind of like a loose, slouchy, definitely oversized look. So if you like this, then you can go ahead and rock this this year. Okay, and then we've got Emily in Paris. For those of you who are fans, Emily in Paris, I watch season one and season two, and that says a lot for me because I hardly ever watch TV. So the fact that I devoured that show is interesting. I have mixed feelings on the show, but we won't talk about that today. But here she's wearing a mini skirt, and right now the fashion world is saying that micro mini skirts, like short, short, short micro mini skirts, are in in 2022 so you've got fendi here and you've got miu miu both showing micro mini skirts in their latest shows i mean these are really short i am not going to be seen with a micro mini skirt anytime soon but you do you if this works for you if you've got sexy legs rock it and if this makes you feel good go for it Okay, then you've got the flare leg pants and jeans. So the bell bottoms are back. It's like a very cyclical world, isn't it, for fashion? So they're saying this year, the wider, the better. That's the statement. So whether it's pants, slacks, jeans, bell bottoms. For me personally, I did this look when I was in high school. And of course, my parents did this look in the hippie stage. So like I said, it comes back over and over again. This trend seems to just live on. You know, after a few years, it pops up again, as with many trends. I don't think I'm going to be rocking these kinds of pants anymore. I really do like my skinny jeans, even if they're not in. I really just, that's my personal preference. And at the end of the day, we all dress for ourselves. And it's our own personal style, isn't it? But for those of you who are into flare legs, there you go. 2022 is your year. Then we've got fringe. So not too long ago, I saw a Chanel bag at the boutique that had fringe hanging off of it. I actually took a photo of it and I posted it on my Instagram. And most of you were like, oh, kind of cringe, as was I, because I, I don't know, I just felt like taking a pair of scissors and cutting off all the fringe. It just looked messy. But we're going to see a lot of fringe on clothing as well. Like all these dresses here that I'm showing, whether it's evening wear or casual wear, fringe is going to be there. And I don't know about that. Like, I don't know if I like it or if I don't like it. But again, it's all about personal style. So if you like it, rock it. 
Then we've got bold pops of color, like really bold. I'm talking neon bright, not just muted colors, pastels. No, these are really electric. Electric blue, in fact, is a very highly searched term on Google right now. So I think already people are looking to add electric blue outfits to their wardrobe you've got fuchsias you've got neon orange and green and purples i mean we're going really bright and not only that but we're actually going to see mixing of all kinds of pops of colors so as you can see on the right here this is like just all over and yeah it's a little bright uh it's a bit much for me i'm more mm, subdued and neutral in my wardrobe but i do think this is fun it's it's a showstopper like it would catch my attention so pops of color are definitely in in 2022 Speaking of pops of color, there's Kim Kardashian wearing a pop of pink. These are cat suits. Apparently, cat suits are in. They're going to be big this year. I am never going to wear a cat suit. Um, I guess never say never, but I, I just think of like how I'm going to peel this off and go to the bathroom. Like uh, it's not practical for me. It needs to be comfortable, but cat suits are in. No more like jumpsuits, cat suits. I'm talking like, you know, stick to the skin, really tight cat suits i don't know what you can think of like michelle pfeiffer and batman that's that's what it is and all different prints all different colors all different materials so let me know if you are a big fan of cat suits yourself if you're going to be wearing them or if you're more like me and you're going to shy away from them then we've got the cutouts so cutouts are going to be big this year apparently with dresses and also tops and it's really fun because cutouts can be used in so many different ways different shapes different sizes right um here's another cat suit but the sides are cut out and this dress here i would actually wear this it's just you know it's not too too revealing this one here is just a little too much with all the circles um so you go with your tolerance level and what you feel comfortable with but cutouts are apparently it in 2022 then we've got the trend for bra tops yes bra tops whether worn by themselves or whether they're worn with oversized blazers apparently bra tops are in i have to be frank with you living in new york city i have never i don't think i've ever seen anybody walking around with any kind of outfit uh that was like a bra top except for if you are wearing like a sports bra and you are ready to go running in the park yes then but it's a totally different look it's a very athletic look i've never seen this uh, maybe i'm not hanging out in the cool places or maybe i'm just not like i'm not looking um but i, I can see how this is like very like chic if you do it in the right way it can be very chic and sexy right so bra tops then we've got again emily lots of inspiration from emily in paris and her beret so she's got the classic red beret very parisian and apparently berets are in this year as also a lot of hats just hats in general i think here i thought it'd be fun i grabbed a photo of the new dior beret that they put out it actually has pearls pearl detail and also a veil so pretty fancy and uh it's a lot of money as well <laughs> Then we've got Harry Styles wearing a string of pearls. And we've got this model from Dior. I think it was their recent spring summer show. Uh, they had their models studded out in pearls, like around the eyes, all over the, the hair, the head. So pearls are supposed to be in this year and just like less stuffy in terms of how pearls are usually seen. Like I have pearls and I have pearls that were uh, gifted to me from family members. They're very special. I've got earrings and necklaces and rings, but I hardly ever wear them because I feel like they're very formal, very sort of uh, ladylike. And they're for a certain occasion for me. But now that I see this, I'm thinking maybe I can just mix it up very casual, very fun, laid back, because I think this year pearls are meant to be more relaxed. And then we've got plaids. So plaid skirts in particular. And I grabbed these photos because I thought they did a good job, these ladies, of styling their plaid outfits. This one in particular in the middle, I love the mix of patterns. And I'm usually quiet with my patterns. I'm usually into solids and just more muted in general. But I do think that this look looks really pretty and very interesting. And it works. It's very coordinated. Plaid skirts usually remind me of like Britney Spears circa, you know, I don't know what year it was, but years ago. And also Clueless, the movie. Like teenagers, 
wearing short plaid skirts as part of their high school uniform. But I can see this year there's definitely more of a twist on the plaids, longer plaid skirts, um, just styled differently. And I love this look too. It's all plaid, but it's got kind of like a short skirt and a blazer and a long trench over it. It works. I think it's very coordinated. So if you are into plaids, you can play around with them, mixing and matching and see how they work for you this year. Then we've got loafers. So you guys know, last year, I became an official loafers girl. I was never into loafers before, and just all of a sudden, I picked up the Gucci Brixton loafers, fell in love, and then I picked up a pair of Chanel loafers, fell in love, so now I am officially a loafers girl. So isn't that interesting? You never say never. So loafers are really in in 2022 i feel like loafers are always in they've been around for so long but it seems like people want to be comfortable when they're out and about but also stylish and it's kind of a blend between a sneaker and a shoe so yeah loafers and then we've got sequins sequins everywhere i'm literally seeing sequins everywhere i go and i really don't know how i feel about it but it's very glitzy very blingy um just kind of fun playful you've got sequins on clothing on bags this is a chanel handbag fairly new release then you've got these chanel sandals which i'm not a fan of but i don't know some people love it comes with the sock that in itself is weird but then it's all like in embellished with sequins and for me sequins and sandals don't ever go together really but it could work on the right person styled a certain way and this one here is really hard to see because it's white on white but they're actually a pair of chanel boots and they're all decked out in white sequins so i'm telling you you're going to see a lot of sequins this year Okay, and then this one here is just an add-in. I thought it was interesting that we started to see lots of hearts in the fashion world last year. So lots of heart bags in particular. Chanel came out with this pretty heart bag recently. Then you've got the Louis Vuitton heart bag that was really big. You see a lot of unboxings on YouTube with this heart bag. This one here is new. It's a new release from Gucci, just in time for Valentine's Day. It's part of their Valentine's Day collection. Again, you've got Emily in Paris. In season two, she was decked out in this dress with hearts all over. I'm not loving this look. She kind of reminds me of... I don't know, Alice in Wonderland, like the Queen of Hearts type of thing, but it's fun and it's playful. And I do think that last year people were looking for comfort, warmth, and hearts are a universal symbol all around the world for things like comfort and warmth, you know, love, right? So I think psychologically and subconsciously we were seeking this out because hearts were literally everywhere. And I feel like in 2022, this hearts trend is going to continue, maybe not all through the year, but I do think we're still going to see hearts because it's such a comforting symbol. Then last slide, I just want to leave you with these quotes because at the end of the day, fashion is about your own personal style. We don't follow trends just for the sake of following trends. If they work for us, they make us feel beautiful and they help us to switch up our wardrobe, make it more fun, and we are comfortable in our own skin. That is really what matters. And no trends really last, right? They always cycle through. So something that's trendy today will be out of trend tomorrow. So never really put all your hope into trends because, you know, you just want to be you. And fashion is supposed to be authentic and personal and it's a personal expression of who you are so i just want to share coco chanel's quote here that says luxury must be comfortable otherwise it's not luxury you know thinking about fashion and dressing for fashion in itself is a luxury right so if clothing or shoes put on your body feels uncomfortable or restricting or itchy then it's not really a luxury it's not a luxurious feeling right of course i think of the cat suit like if i were to put on a cat suit i would be very uncomfortable i'd feel like just tight and restricted and it'd be annoying when i have to go to the bathroom so they're not for me but if you don't mind that then that's for you right um here we've got another quote that says it's not what you're wearing it's the way you wear it from pharrell yes this is all about how you carry yourself confidence poise right even things like posture make a huge difference you don't want to be slouching you know when you're wearing a beautiful outfit you have to carry yourself a certain way and sometimes people can wear things that are not the most stylish but they look absolutely amazing and stunning because of the way they carry themselves so that is so important and then here we've got Yves Saint Laurent saying fashions fade style is eternal 100% your sincere authentic unique style is what matters fashion is just the trends that go through the world every year every week every day you know it's constantly changing it's a it's a consumeristic machine so definitely hone your own style and then finally from of course Karl Lagerfeld trendy is the last stage 
before tacky. So yeah, it is a fine line. What one person might think is trendy, another might think is obnoxious and tacky and too loud or what have you, right? So it's a fine line. If you think it works for you, go for it. But don't pile on all these trends thinking like, if I do this, this, and this because it's trendy, I'm going to look good. No, if you pile on a bunch of bold colors with plaids and an oversized blazer and a micro mini, you're probably going to look a little bit crazy. Again, if you feel good about it, who's to say anything, right? It's all about what you want to do. But uh, don't just blindly follow the trends. This is just for fun to make it interesting and enjoyable because fashion is supposed to be fun. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.